council members to consider it appropriately. Sure, uh, thanks a lot. Matthew Lee, Inner City Press, on behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access, thanks for this, and hopefully we'll have you at the stakeout uh, after consultations during the month to give a summary. I actually wanted, and I understand the limitations you're under, but on Yemen, rather than not, not asking you to take us aside, but it seems like there are now talks taking place in Oman. Basically, there's a process that's gone outside of the UN process. And so do you think that there, do you think that there's an interest in the council, despite its variety of views, that the council should be involved, that there should, the UN should be facilitating talks, or is it, or is it okay that they move elsewhere? And also on, on children and, and protection of children, I have to ask you this, there's a very high profile case of sexual, alleged sexual abuse of children in Central African Republic by the French troops and whether the UN told the host country on time. And I just wonder, the, the fifth committee has even taken it up. Do you think that there's a place for the Security Council, whether in that debate or elsewise, during your month to in some way seek information from DPKO or try to have some some uh, role in, in making sure the UN does a better job going forward on issues like this? Well, on, on Yemen, uh, as, as we have uh, um, mentioned just now, that this is something that will be taken up tomorrow, and we, we hope uh, that we'll have uh, um, a, a good uh, briefing and to take stock on what is happening there and um, I, I don't want to prejudge on what is the outcome of that discussions uh, tomorrow we will have to wait and see and uh, on your second question yes uh, we note of that development of the allegations as uh, as I would like to put it until the, and in, in my national capacity I would say that uh, we believe that international peacekeeping troops uh, must be held to the highest standards. Uh, we strongly call for the full implementation of the UN Zero Tolerance Policy on this issue. And uh, we expect that uh, there should be an accurate reporting on this subject. 